Hello everyone, Ace here, and today I've decided to answer a specific question regarding video game history. And that question being, what exactly made Space Quest IV great? First released in March of 1991, and becoming so popular that it outsold all three of its predecessors combined, Space Quest IV has gained something of a reputation for both its punishing difficulty, as was common for Sierra Point and Clicks at the time, as well as possessing genuinely witty humor and writing. In addition, while not being the very first point and click game to utilize the point and click interface that fans of the genre would recognize, it was still nevertheless a very early adopter of that system as earlier games tended to use a text parser instead. But players may be interested to know that the most important innovation of Space Quest IV wasn't actually available in the original floppy disk release in 1991, and instead became available with the CD-ROM version released in 1992, and that innovation being the introduction of voice acting to the game. Now it is true that Space Quest IV was once again not the first game to implement this particular feature. What did make it stand out uniquely at the time, however, was that while while the voice acting of previous games in history was genuinely atrocious, Space Quest IV was able to make itself stand out by having the voice acting legitimately be solid, and actively add to the humor of the game. Nobody can reach that building from here with their tongue unless they're in a Leisure Suit Larry game. The two guys from Andromeda's latest sci-fi comedy, Space Quest IV, will give you hours of frustration, unless you have this hint book. Want to know how to get the dog into the hanging basket? Want to find out how to attach the melon? Buy this hint book, and it all becomes obvious. You'll hit your head and say, Boy, how stupid could I have been? A moron could have figured this out. I must be a real dimwit, a pathetic nimno, a wretched idiotic excuse for a human being not to have figured out these simple puzzles in the first place. Try it and see. The powerful quad quark drives Rev to life. Time and space bend under the fibrillations of the time-rip transfluxers. Your adrenaline and stomach reel with the hyperbolic hyperbole. And finally, finally, nothing much happens. That must not have been a valid code. Try again. I know it's weird to focus on a feature that wasn't even available in the original version of the game. However, given the huge impact that this had on the industry as a whole, as well as how much it actually improves the game itself, it is my opinion that the most important factor that made Space Quest IV great was itself the legitimately solid voice acting found in that CD-ROM version. It legitimately showed that game companies perhaps should take voice acting seriously, and that this attention to detail could in fact pay off. This was of course a lesson that the industry was slow to learn at first, however it is something that has ultimately stuck, and something that could in one way or another be tied back to Space Quest IV's CD-ROM version. Of course to now address those who may be wondering how does one exactly acquire this piece of video game history, well I'm pleased to say that you are most certainly in luck, because Space Quest IV has been re-released on GOG.com as part of a bundle with both Space Quest V and six, all for the grand total of just $10. Alternatively, all six of the Space Quest games can be picked up on Steam for $20. But regardless, this has been Ace, and I hope you'll agree with me when I say that Space Quest 4 is great.